Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be transferring over my makeup from my former makeup kit into a new makeup kit that I purchased. So we're going to be spending a little bit of time here in my bathroom where I recently did a little bit of reorganizing and I cleaned it and I have a really nice fall candle burning. And yeah, I did recently get a different makeup bag and I wanted to see if all of my makeup would fit. I also wanted to have a different place to store my brushes because up until this point my brushes have been thrown into my makeup bag together with all the makeup which I didn't think was very hygienic and I didn't want my brushes to be getting dirty and exposed to everything else that I'm constantly touching in my makeup bag. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and that this would just be a nice, calming, relaxing, organizational, and a little bit of a decluttering type of video. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia, and on this channel we do a lot of decluttering, home organization, we talk about perfumes, we do a lot of fashion content and decor type of content. So if that's something that you like, definitely consider subscribing. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. So unfortunately I did do a little bit of recording throughout this video and then I realized I did not have the right microphone plugged in. So there is no sound from the actual process. I'm going to have to do voiceover. So this little pink bag is the bag that I did purchase from a local drugstore and the plastic bag behind it is the one that I previously had all of my makeup in. My brushes are all in there and I really just wanted to see if everything was going to fit in this new little makeup bag so that I would have everything in a compact place, easy to grab and go when I go on holidays, and also keep my brushes a little bit cleaner. So currently I have my brushes sitting on this little plastic acrylic sort of container on my counter as opposed to being in the makeup bag just because it is a little bit more hygienic and I also think that they look really pretty sitting on the counter. So I just have them all sitting in this little container that I got from a local drugstore. It was very inexpensive. It was like $7.99 and I really like the look of it and I like that my brushes are available at a glance. I do have quite a small bathroom space and not a lot of room on the vanity, so I can't have a whole lot of stuff sitting out on my vanity, but I do think that the little brush holder looks really cute sitting in the corner almost as decor. So this is the little makeup bag that I found at my local drugstore. I really wanted a makeup bag that had a separate compartment for the brushes. That was my whole inspiration, was either just a separate bag for the brushes or a double compartment makeup bag so that everything could be separate. I think it'll be a lot easier this way to find my brushes and locate what I'm looking for instead of having to dig through all of my makeup to find my brushes. It's just gonna be so much better organized this way. So this is a really cute, relatively small makeup bag, probably ideal for travel, definitely not ideal for storing all of one's makeup, especially if you have a larger collection, which thankfully I do not. And this makeup bag is in this really beautiful, it feels like leather. I'm not sure if it is leather or if it's a faux leather, but it's very, very soft and it was about $40. So it's at least very good quality faux leather. It's very, very soft. The zipper is metallic and very good quality. And the inside of the bag, as you can see, is quite spacious and has these little stripey details. And it also does have some extra little compartments if you wanted to keep lip balm or lipstick or any sort of small compacts in the side pocket. You will see as we go through later on in the video that everything I had did not quite fit and I did end up having to do a little bit of organizing slash decluttering. And in case you missed my last video where I talked about my makeup collection slash tour slash declutter, this was the container that I was formerly keeping all of my makeup and my brushes in as well as my sunscreen. And this was just a very inexpensive like $8 Amazon bag. And what I really like about it is that it's very compact. You can kind of squish it to fit into any suitcase and it's also see-through. So you can see everything at a glance, what you have, and it's very easy to find things. However, I did not like the fact, like I said, that my brushes were all mixed in with my makeup. I just felt like it was a little bit unhygienic and not very organized. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and first put my makeup in the bag, starting with the items that I know I'm absolutely going to be keeping and using. So this is my only eyeshadow palette. This is from Too Faced and I absolutely love it. It's the only eyeshadow that I have. It smells amazing. Definitely going to be keeping this, so I'll just slip that into the bag. 
The next item that I'm definitely going to be putting into my makeup bag is my Park Ave Princess Tarte Amazonian Matte Bronzer, I believe it's called. And again, this is the only bronzer that I do have. I use it for contouring and also just to warm up my face, obviously. Definitely keeping that so that goes in the makeup bag as well, and those two items fit nicely. The next item is my Hourglass Finishing Powder. This is my favorite and my only finishing powder that I have. So obviously I'm going to be keeping it. And you guys, if my must-have makeup products didn't fit, I would obviously just get a bigger makeup bag. But yeah, this one definitely is going in the bag. The next item is my one and only blush. This one's also from Hourglass and I absolutely love it. So obviously this one is going in the makeup bag as well. It's this beautiful sort of neutral to warm, like corally pinky color and I love it. The next item is my highlighter and this is from Becca Cosmetics. This is a very light um, highlighter. It's got a little bit of a like shimmer to it almost and this is the only highlighter that I do use so obviously I'm going to be throwing this in the bag as well. The next items are a couple of tools which is my tweezers and my eyelash curler. Now I don't use the eyelash curler very often but I am going to see if I can fit it in there and see if I can find a spot for it. Next I have a bunch of mascaras. I actually have four of them and I certainly do not need four mascaras. I just have a habit of trying new things or you know, just deciding I wanna buy something different to try so then I end up with like four mascaras and I think a lot of people do that. But I certainly do not need all four mascaras so I am going to have to go through after and decide which ones I really wanna keep and which ones I'm going to set aside because as you will find out, there ended up not being room for all of the mascaras. Next I have some eyebrow products and because I'm not sure which of these products is my favorite and I don't do my brows very often so I really just don't know which one is my preference, I am going to keep all of them. They're also relatively small so not a big deal to keep all three of them in the bag. Next I have my Holy Grail sunscreen. This doesn't really need to be in the makeup bag. I always keep one in my toiletry bag so I'm just going to set that aside. Next we have an eyelash glue. So I don't use false eyelashes very often, but when I need one in a pinch, it's something that I can't find, so I am going to hold on to it. And then I do have four foundations. So you will see as we go through the video that I do end up going through and deciding which one is my favorite that I'm going to keep in the bag and which ones I'm just gonna set aside. I'm not gonna throw anything away, obviously, because that would be very wasteful, but I am going to decide which one is going to stay in my bag for those times I travel and just head out for the weekend. So this is everything in the makeup kit, including a couple of foundations and a few mascaras. So obviously it's not going to do up, it's way too full. So I am going to have to go through and decide what items I definitely wanna keep in my makeup bag and which items I'm just gonna set aside and try to use up in the meantime. And hopefully I will eventually decide on one mascara that I love, my holy grail, and I will not buy anymore, as well as foundations, cause nobody needs you know, this many foundations and this many mascaras to choose from. So these are all of the mascaras and the foundations and obviously they're not all going to fit and really realistically, if you're going away for a vacation or away on the weekend, you don't need to bring this much stuff. You usually just pick one foundation and one mascara just to make it easier to travel and also to comply with airline regulations. And obviously it's not all going to fit in this little bag. So I'm not gonna throw anything away. That would be very wasteful. And if there was a product that I wanted more than one of, it would be foundation. I have those days where sometimes I want a lighter coverage and other times I want a heavier coverage and also I'm sort of just in the middle right now of trying to decide which foundation is actually my favorite. At the moment I'm still kind of in between deciding which foundation is best for me but currently my favorite is the Maybelline Superstay. This CoverGirl one, I'm just going to keep out on the side and kind of try it out. This one I kind of bought on a whim because I was out of town and had forgotten my makeup. This is the Maybelline Superstay that is my current favorite so this one i am going to keep in my makeup bag the charlotte tilbury is beautiful it gives such a nice flawless finish i just wasn't sure about the color for me 100 and then the ilia is also gorgeous but this one is a much lighter more of a serum foundation so i'm definitely not decluttering it but i don't think it's my holy grail so it doesn't need to go in the makeup bag then when it comes to the mascaras 
I really like all three of these mascaras. I'm not sure which one is my favorite if I have to say, and the Too Faced and the Dior are not expired yet, so I don't really want to throw them out. There's still a lot of product in both of those mascaras. I really, really love the Dior. I love the formulation and also the brush, but do I really need a $40 mascara? I probably won't purchase that one again, to be honest. What I really love about the Too Faced is that this one is so easy to wash off like when I do my double cleanse method. I don't have to rub or tug at my eyelashes, so I really love the formula of this mascara and I also like the look that it gives my lashes. This is truly a fantastic mascara that I probably will end up purchasing again. So this one I am going to keep in my makeup bag. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my brushes in the brush compartment and see if those fit. And this I was actually a little bit worried about because as you can see the bag is already quite stuffed and I was worried that there wouldn't be enough room for the brushes once I zipped it shut. So I don't know how functional or practical it's going to be but we are going to give it a shot and see. So this first way of arranging them did not work. I wasn't able to zip the bag up because the brush on the left is a little bit too long and the bristles were basically getting cut off by the zipper, which I do not want. I don't want to be wrecking my brushes. So obviously that brush was a little bit long and it wasn't the best idea to have it on the outside like that. So I did have to do a little bit of organizing and switching the brushes around to see where they would fit best and how I could best close the makeup bag. So the only thing I would say about this bag is it would have been nice if it was just another inch longer probably would have made all the difference in the world. So I did a little bit of switching around with the brushes and reorganizing and I was able to safely close the brush compartment without getting any of the bristles caught or without feeling like I was going to destroy my brushes. So this is everything in the bag and as you can see I can open up the zipper for the brush compartment and it looks perfectly fine. All of the brushes fit. Yes, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze or a smaller squeeze, but really when I go away traveling or on vacation or something, I want a compact makeup bag. I don't want something huge that's taking up a lot of room, and I also want everything to be really well organized, and this definitely did do that for me. So I have all of my large face brushes on the right, and then I have all of my little eyeshadow brushes on the left in the little zipper compartment, and everything does fit quite well, and I am able to zip it up without compromising the integrity of my brushes. And as you can see for the makeup compartment, it's quite full. In fact, it's almost a little too full for me. I think the biggest issue is that that Too Faced eyeshadow palette is huge. Like the Too Faced eyeshadow palette definitely is what's taking up the most room in my bag, which is a little bit annoying because um, I'm not even like a huge eyeshadow person but I still was able to fit everything. I did decide to remove the eyelash curler because honestly, you guys, I don't curl my eyelashes every single day. In fact, I rarely curl them. So that thing was kind of bulky and awkward and taking up a lot of extra room. So once I removed the eyelash curler, it just felt a lot more comfortable and natural. So these are all of the items that I was not able to fit into my new makeup bag, which is perfectly okay because honestly, like I said, the sunscreen doesn't really need to be in there. The eyelash curler is something I don't use very often, and I certainly don't need four mascaras and four foundations. That is just overkill. It doesn't mean that I'm going to throw things away just to fit them in my bag. It just means that this is going to really help me hone in on, okay, what are your favorite products? What do you really need? Do you really need all of these products? And to be honest, like I said, foundation is something that I'm always trying something new. I feel like I still haven't found my lifetime holy grail foundation. Um, but these ones I'm still going to keep. I'm still going to use them. It's just that when I actually go away on the weekend, I'm going to be a little bit more picky about what I bring with me. And I do not need to bring every single product that I have with me. So yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. My goal was to be more organized and be able to put my brushes in a separate place. And I am quite happy with the progress that I made. 
Is it a little bit annoying that all of my makeup doesn't fit? Yes, but at the same time, the whole point was this way when I travel, I'm traveling more compact and things are more organized. And I do have the ultimate goal of having one holy grail foundation, one holy grail mascara, and just not deviating from that and making sure that everything fits. And I think that I was able to accomplish that in today's video, so I'm pretty happy about it. So yeah, let me know you guys down below, do you have a holy grail foundation or a holy grail mascara or are you like me and you're always kind of trying something new and also how big is your makeup bag and do you kind of just always go back to the same products or do you have your favorites and you don't deviate and everything stays very organized i'm just curious also let me know how you store your brushes do you have like a separate container for your brushes or do you have a multiple compartment the way i do with this bag so thank you guys so much for watching i'm so sorry that my microphone malfunctioned and i ended up having to do voiceover for most of this video for this whole video but i really hope that you still got something out of it whether it inspired you to do a little bit of organizing or decluttering or whether you just found it relaxing and nice to listen to and i'll see you guys all very soon in my next one bye for now